Namaste everyone, I'm Amruta and welcome back to Tummy to Heart. In my previous video, I had shared an easiest way to make Kolhapuri masala powder at home. And today, I brought the recipe in which that masala is an important ingredient. So today's recipe is Kolhapuri Chicken Sukka. It is an authentic Kolhapuri dish. It is mouth-wateringly spicy, finger-lickingly delicious and divinely flavorful. So let me tell you little bit about this dish. The word sukka means dry in Marathi language. The gravy in this dish is thick with very little water content. But oil is used liberally while making this recipe. This dish is very easy to make. First, lightly roast the spices and few other ingredients. Second, grind the ingredients and third is cook the dish. So let's not wait any longer and get started. But before we start, please hit the subscribe button and bell icon below. Ingredients are 500 grams raw chicken pieces 1 fourth cup water 1 teaspoon vegetable oil for caramelizing onion and 3 tablespoon vegetable oil for gravy 1 medium sized tomato cut into large pieces. Half teaspoon red chilli powder. 1 medium sized green chilli. Half cup chopped coriander. 120 grams or 1 medium sized onion sliced. 2 tablespoon grated fresh coconut. 1 tablespoon kolhapuri masala powder. 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder 1 and a half teaspoon poppy seeds 1 clove 4 black peppers half inch cinnamon stick 5 green cardamom 2 teaspoon sesame seeds 2 teaspoon cumin seeds 3 tablespoon grated coconut 3 medium sized garlic cloves, half inch or 2 grams fresh ginger peas, 3 4 teaspoon or as per taste salt. Step 1 In a pan, add oil and heat it. Once the oil is heated, add sliced onion and caramelize it. Stir it occasionally and do not burn it. Later, keep it aside for further use. Next in a pan, add grated dry coconut and dry roast it. Roast it till it changes color lightly. Next in the same pan, dry roast all the spices. They are Sesame seeds, cumin seeds, poppy seeds, cloves, black pepper, green cardamom and cinnamon stick. Stir them continuously so that it does not burn. Later keep it aside for further use. Step 2 In a mixer grinder, put all the sauteed and roasted ingredients. along with ginger, garlic, green chilli, fresh coconut and tomato. Grind the ingredients to fine paste consistency then keep it aside for further use. Step 3 In a pan, add oil and heat it. Once oil is heated, add ground masala paste and saute it. Saute till oil starts separating from masala. Here 
here you will notice at the edges the oil has separated from masala next add turmeric powder red chili powder and kolhapuri masala powder next add raw chicken pieces then add salt and chopped coriander next add water and stir after stirring cover the pan with a lid and cook for 18 to 20 minutes on medium flame Twenty minutes later, remove the lid and turn off the heat. Your Kolhapuri chicken sukkah is ready, so enjoy. So try out this mouth-wateringly spicy and flavorful recipe, and let me know if this was your tummy to heart moment. If you want, you can do this recipe in less oil as well. For Kolhapuri masala powder recipe, please watch my previous video. For more details, visit my website that is tamitohat.com. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button below, along with the bell icon. For many more such recipes, watch my other videos or go to my website. In the description box below, you'll find all the necessary links. So see you next time. Bye.